Hey everyone, today in this video I'm going to be transforming this old entertainment center that I got from Habitat for Humanity for $5 into this awesome kitchen set for Asha. She's been playing with it, she loves it, and I'm looking forward to showing you how I did it. Okay, so I've taken all of the um, doors off and the wood shelving that was in there. And now I'm about to sand it. So yay. And look at Asha. She's about to try to do the splits. <laughs> uh, just a quick, um, I don't know. But I'm using this sanding sponge that I got from the Dollar Tree. Just because I don't have to go really hard on this. I just want to rough it up so that the paint will stick. And the lighter side is less abrasive than the darker side. So that's good. And yes, I am in the kitchen because this thing was too heavy to take in our basement. And... Um, it's going to be easier for me to just sweep up and clean up in the kitchen than it would be in the living room. So, so anyway, I finished sanding the whole thing and now I'm about to paint it. Um, I didn't show the sanding part, nor would I show me painting it because I feel like those parts are simple. Like everybody knows how to sand, everybody knows how to paint. So I don't want it to be boring. I'm just going to say most of the video for the cool parts. And the little tricks that I use to make it how I want it to look. So I'm going to paint this. Then um, probably tomorrow um, you guys will see it painted. So. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys some of the pieces that I got um, before I start putting them in. This is a little faucet I got from the Habitat for Humanity and then this is a cookie cookie pot pan <laughs> that I got from Salvation Army for 99 cent this was two dollars and this was 99 cents this is what I'm gonna use for the actual sink basin and I've traced it out on the area that I'm going to put the sink. And I'm just going to drill so I can um, put a hole in there. Or the side of this, obviously. Yeah. It's happy, right? Oh, look at that. Are you on the phone? So it's going to be like that. Okay, bye. Imagination. Um, so anyway, the top, I was like, I don't need the top. But then I actually am going to use it because I got this little picture frame from the Dollar Tree so I can make the uh, shape of the oven, like the face of the oven. And all I needed was just this border. Then I like that it said, bless this home. Well, so what I'm gonna do is with this, you can't see it because of the Merry Christmas on there, but I'm gonna make a little clock and it's gonna have the bless this home behind it. So that's what I'm gonna do with that. Um, okay, so I'm done making little ant hills. <laughs> Nose where just starter holes, and then I gotta drill the big holes where these are. And then I'll cut around. I don't have a fancy one where I can just cut around, so I gotta do it like this. Okay, so I cut the hole out. <clears throat> Excuse me. I cut the hole out and I placed in that cookie jar, but then now it looked really like unfinished here. So what I did was at the Family Dollar they sell these little things for electric stoves and you put them underneath like your your eye. Um and they used to come um in two separate pieces, but they don't but luckily we used these before when they did come in two separate pieces so what i did was i just bought some to replace the one that we had and i just took the round part off so then now i just placed it here and it's a perfect fit and bam now it looks really cute and finished okay so now what i'm gonna do is just like start doing all the little things that are gonna be inside of the kitchen and I have this long rod from Hobby Lobby I don't know this the diameter of this rod but it's like this I don't know and I'm gonna cut these up into four um, actually six 
little eight inch pieces. And then I'm going to take these little dollies that I, doilies, whatever that I had, and I'm going to cut those in half to make all the handles for the kitchen, like all the hardware. And I'm going to paint it in a silver metallic color. So I'll be back with that. Okay, so right here I'm just showing you um, how I made the hardware. That was not painted, and then that's how it looks while it, after it got painted. So it's pretty cool. Okay, so here's the picture frame that um, I'm going to use for her window. And I'm just going to take the glass out. And I'm going to just paint this white for the window. But that will be like, you know, that's nothing I have to show you guys. You'll see it in the final. <laughs> but um, so this glass, what I'm going to do is this is going to be the cooktop for her stove oven or whatever. And I'm just going to put a CD under there, trace the CD, um, you know, in four spots. And then where the CD is, I thought that we had more CDs because I would have just used a CD and then painted this part here, um, the silver metallic, but we don't. Um, and I really don't feel like buying or want to buy anything new. So I'm just going to trace them out in those four and then paint. Um, paint around it so that it's gray so i'll come back with that okay so i only painted black circles because i just realized that i painted the counterpart silver silver <laughs> already, oh, so um oh. i just needed the black dots what i should what <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I showed you guys earlier about this um, that was in a smaller frame, and then I've cut out the Merry Christmas that was inside of it, and I've traced this onto it like a so. I think it goes up a little bit more. Yep. And I'm going to be cutting that out to make her a clock, and I'm probably going to paint this clock brown, like, um, like a wood color. So that it will look a little better with this. So brown. You'll probably see that in the brown. stage. Brown. Brown. I'll paint this brown. brown. And then I'm going to use, um, I'm thinking of using some, uh, what are those things called? Like vice grips. I think that's um, what I'm thinking of to use uh, as the, the hands on the clock. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, so right here I'm going to show you how I'm going to make her chandelier. That ribbon I got um, two weeks after Christmas. It was on sale for $0.10. Cent. It was originally $3, but it was on sale for $0.03. Cent, or $0.10, cent, sorry. Um, and then that's just a light from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to put that in a piece of paper around that little light and make it into... A little chandelier I'm gonna cut the paper it was like two inches um, and then wrap it around the light so I'll be back okay and that is what it looked like right there but I ended up changing it a little bit at the end and you'll see it at the end or in another video okay so I decided to actually make the little grates or whatever they're called so what I'm doing is just taking a pencil that um, doesn't have a lead but the lead is gone I've been using this to stir the paint, but anyway, and I'm just taking it and carving it out, the black paint out, so I can just make the def the detail part. So that's what I'm doing, just simple, very simple. Okay, so now we're about to start on her backsplash, and I got this decorative drawer liner from the Dollar Tree. And it is uh, one, 18 inches by 1.5 yards. So, all right. And what I'm going to do is just cut it out and I'm going to put it on this backboard. This board, uh, you can't see it that good, but because um, Asha's sitting on it. Um, but I got this like hard board oh, no. from uh, Home Depot and it was $5. Like it was like four fifty something, but in total it was like five dollars. And you know they cut for free at Home Depot if you buy. They cut wood there for free. And um, if you buy it there, so I had them cut it down a little bit. 
for me and I'm just gonna use some double-sided tape to attach it to this board so I need to show this board. <laughs> All right, so this is how the board turned out, and it turned I'm out. I'm loving you. I'm loving you. Okay, it turns out that I didn't need that um, double sided tape. I didn't know if it was like that. It says it on the package, by the way. I just like the pattern. So this is what the texture should look like. I love you. You can see. Oops, sorry, Mommy. Yep, there we go. Okay, so right now we are in the basement because I have to cut a couple of um, pieces to go on the kitchen, obviously. So I'm going to make a couple cuts and then I'll be back. So you guys know that I made this part originally, Puck. but then it just looks Puck. so plain to me. So hey. I got one of these, um, you know, a little bead necklace from the Dollar Tree, and I just put that on there. So now her chandelier is going to have a little oh, bit yes. more. It's not perfect, but at least it has a little bit more. Arm. You got your arm? Mm. <laughs> um, five. It has a little bit more five. pizzazz. A five. Yay. Okay, so we're finally done with this thing. I'm going to give you a little tour, but I just want to say yes. Finally, it took me three days to do this. A lot of work. And the spoon? Yeah. And she loves it. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start over here. My mom and dad gave me this little mirror. It came with a set. Um, and I never knew where to put this little mirror, so I just put it here. And I think I'm going to paint this purple. But this phone I got from the Goodwill for $5. And originally it was this color all around. And I'll insert the picture. So I thought that painting it purple would give it a little bit more oomph, which I really liked it. So let me close these because Asha is currently playing right now. Whew. So that's the refrigerator right there. And then if you open it, I have those racks that I showed, or I'll insert the video here. But as you can see that they came in a four, a set of four and they were all connected. So what I did was just um, take them apart and then I cut them down so it can fit along here. And for the backing, what I think I'm going to do is just get like a poster board and then put like pictures of other food, glue them to the back so that way she can always have food in her refrigerator. But that's that. And then we close it back. And up there is just more storage space. I didn't really do anything fancy to that part. So then we move over here to her sink. And I painted this faux... Um, marble countertop. I tried to do the best I could, but I think it turned out okay. And you guys saw the sink earlier, but Hi, I don't know mommy. if I showed this faucet. Hi, like I said, mommy. it was. Um... Hi, mommy. Hi, Asha. How are you? Good. That's good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and this thing moves. It was um, two dollars at Habitat for Humanity Restore. And then this also moves right here. And this little picture is what I painted for her, like a little backyard view. And I think I'm gonna do like the little T for the window and get um, some drapes to go over it. And there's the clock I made out of the picture frame, the picture that was in that frame, and the top that came with the candy bowl that we use for the sink. Hey. Over here, yeah. Over here we have her oven and stove. Um, you know this glass, <clears throat> excuse me, is the glass that was in there and then I just, I showed you guys that. And I used a piece of cardboard and just printed out this for her oven part. And then this rack right here came from the Dollar Tree. 
Um, I just use it to, I just glued it, bless you. I glued it so it can hang all of her little utensils. And then these two shelves um, were the wood from um, this backing when I cut it down a little bit more because it was still, it's still a little too big, but um, it's not as much as it was. And I just glued it and use it as her shelving for this. And this little plant I also got at Salvation Army for 99 cents. And then there's her chandelier. And I painted this up here purple because I thought it was really cute to do a little accent color. And then with the chandelier, I think it looks really cute. And I turn it on. Isn't that so cute? <laughs> um, going down this. It's just that. I never painted this because it wouldn't be um, seen, so I just kept it up as the candy bowl. And then this basket is what um, the food stuff and the stuff that came in the fridge. You okay? Came in. And then here is her oven. Inside. And this little rack came from the Dollar Tree. It is this size originally, so I didn't have to cut it down. I just placed it on some little board so that it's off the um, ground of it a little bit so she can put like her little whatever she want to put in there oh i don't know if i ever showed how i made these little knobs but i just traced something that will circle the size that i wanted and then i used um those little wood dowels and just glued them to that i don't know if you can see the wood dial part it's like a little knob obviously they don't turn but it's just just for the look um, and that's the pretty much the whole thing right there Look at that little egg and over here i made her an apron <laughs> out of some extra fabric that i had left over and see how that's hanging but i think that's okay and there we go that's the whole thing. I'm so pleased with it. It took me three days to do this whole thing, and I'm happy about it. She's been playing with it, um, so that's the most important part. So, yeah. And before I go, I just wanted to say... Thank you so much to the people that helped. Um, my little brother and one of my friends, his brother-in-law, came to help me actually pick up this unit because it was so heavy and I couldn't do it. Um, Ken was at work, so um, I couldn't do it by myself and then have Asha as well. So thank you to you too. And then, of course, thanks to Ken for helping me bring it up the stairs. <laughs> Him and I bring it up the stairs, but... Um, so yeah, thanks, and then it, it's turned out so good. Like I said, I'm just so in love with it, and I'm glad she's playing with it. So that's the, so anyway, have a great day, you guys. And cut it. We'll see you later, huh? Cut it. You gotta cut it. You gotta cut some. Oh, you cutting the potato? Wow. You gotta say bye to the people. Bye to the people. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a good day. What kind of dance is that? <laughs> Come here. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Uh oh. Oh, no, bananas. Oh, no, bananas. <laughs>